In HVAC systems, particularly in air handlers and packaged air conditioners, outside air and return air are blended before passing through the cooling or heating coils. The resulting mixed air temperature is critical for coil load calculations, economizer operation, and overall system efficiency. This video explains the concept, provides the calculation formula, and shows examples for different percentages of outside air and return air, and provides a free downloadable mixed air temperature calculator. You can also find a free calculator on our website. Just enter your information and it automatically calculates the mixed air temperature. Why Mixed Air Temperature Matters The mixed air temperature determines the entering conditions at the cooling or heating coil. For example, cooling season. A higher mixed air temperature increases coil load and energy use. Heating season. A lower mixed air temperature increases heating demand. Economizers. When outdoor conditions are favorable, more outside air is used to reduce mechanical cooling, but they must be set up correctly to avoid wasting energy. Accurately calculating mixed air temperature ensures coils are sized properly, economizer strategies are effective, and energy costs are minimized. This formula is based on dry bulb temperature for a dry coil. The formula for mixed air temperature. The mixed air temperature is a weighted average based on the proportion of outside air and return air. Mixed air temperature equals percentage of outside air times outside air temperature plus percentage of return air times return air temperature. Here are some example calculations. Example 1. 20% outside air. Outside air equals 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Return air equals 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside air equals 20%. And return air equals 80% of the total air volume entering the mixing box. Mixed air temperature equals 0 0.2 times 95 plus 0 0.8 times 75. Mixed air temperature equals 19 plus 60 equals 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Result, the coil sees 79 degrees Fahrenheit entering air. In this case, since the outside air is way above the high limit for any economizer, the outside air would be set to the code minimum per ash ray, 62.1. It makes no sense to waste energy on cooling outdoor air at 95 degrees Fahrenheit when the return air is at 75 degrees, not considering relative humidity. Example 2. 50% outside air. Outside air equals 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Return air equals 72 degrees. Outside air equals 50%. And return air equals 50% of total air volume. Mixed air temperature equals 0 0.5 times 40 plus 0 0.5 times 72. Mixed air temperature equals 20 plus 36 equals 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Result. The coil sees 56 degrees Fahrenheit mixed air temperature. Example 3. 75% outside air, economizer mode. Outside air equals 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Return air equals 75 degrees. Outside air equals 75%. RA equals 25%. Mixed air temperature equals 0 0.75 times 70 plus 0 0.25 times 75 equals 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Result? The coil sees 71 degrees Fahrenheit entering air. This may or may not be a good setup depending on the relative humidity of the outside air. If the outside air carries a higher latent load than the return air, then this could add significantly to the energy consumption as the coil will need to remove excessive moisture in a wet coil situation. Example 4. 100% outside air, economizer mode. Outside air equals 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Return air equals 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside air equals 100%. Return air equals 0%. Mixed air temperature equals 1.0 times 60 plus 0 times 75 equals 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Result. In full economizer mode, mixed air temperature equals outside air temperature. This is where the economizer high limit strategy will come into consideration. See our next video on economizer control high limit strategies. Practical considerations. Humidity. Enthalpy method. While temperature only calculations are common, true load calculations should also consider humidity. Mixed air enthalpy can be calculated similarly using a weighted average. Sensor placement. Mixed air temperature sensors should be located downstream of the mixing box to avoid stratification errors. 
Minimum ventilation. Codes. ASHRAE 62.1 and IMC require minimum outside air for ventilation, typically ranging from 10 to 30% based on occupancy type and number of occupants. Energy efficiency. Reducing outside air percentage during extreme conditions lowers energy cost, while increasing outside air during mild weather can reduce mechanical cooling. Latent heat considerations. The mixed air temperature calculation shown here is based on a dry bulb temperature average, which assumes the cooling coil is operating in a dry, sensible only condition. In climates or operating conditions where the coil is wet, this method can be misleading because it ignores the additional latent load of dehumidification. In those cases, a more accurate approach is to use differential enthalpy and differential dry bulb control, which evaluates both sensible and latent energy. This ensures that economizer operation does not increase cooling energy use in humid conditions. Get a free copy of our mixed air temperature calculator in the link below or visit our website for an interactive calculator in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our HVAC and plumbing estimating spreadsheets to streamline your construction bidding process. Check out our HVAC, electrical and plumbing construction forms to help you run your business and explore our online courses for in-depth training. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.